Hi everyone, welcome to afternoon break. The rain went away for now. It's still cloudy over that way. Looks like it's coming this way. But it's been looking like this for a while. If you look over this way. But as you can see, I guess it's gonna rain again. If you look up there. Doesn't look too good, does it? I've been out here doing some things. Uh, I'm pretty sure it had to be that blue jay that I saw in here from the kitchen window here. I was looking from out here, this window this morning. There was a blue jay bopping around in there and pick, pecking at everything. So I guess he, uh, there was a squirrel. I guess he uh, pecked my, uh, couple of my cucumber seedlings that, uh, the cucumbers that Joe gave me that I've been waiting to come up I see a few more came up now and I had to put this here uh, it should it worked last year if the wind blows a little bit it makes noise and it uh, reflects light you know when it moves around too so it seemed to work last year I don't, that's about all I got that I could use right now um, but boy those are looking good around here that they've popped up real fast that's, I think that's the butternut squash right there. Those two. There's another one coming up too right here. Right there. Ooh. Looks like something bit on it or something. I swear. But, uh. Now you can see these little ones down here. That's the seeds I planted of Joe's. So they are coming up some, Joe. And I am going to keep it. He told me uh, <clears throat> the reason they were probably slow is coming up is because they weren't getting enough rain underneath this awning, you know, up here. So uh, I'll make sure I keep them, you know, watered back here. <clears throat> Got something else coming up over there. Oh, why? How did the seed get way over there, though? It must be just a stray green bean seed. Anyway, I was out here, you know, I put this thing on here and I might have to adjust the length of it if it doesn't make enough noise. Um, let's see, I didn't do anything over here though. Everything's looking great though today. Everything's coming up that I planted around the edge there, down through there. But uh, I got, the, what I did was I got the sunflowers that I grew from seed. And they, they're looking, you know, they're looking real healthy, so I took some of them out here. There's a chipmunk on top of that stump. Y'all see it? Can y'all see that? It'll run off if I go over there. I know you probably can't see it good. It's on the top of that stump right there. Little chipmunk. Thinks so. I can't see it, I bet. Can you see yet? I don't want to run it off, but I want to see if you can, if I can get close enough to see it. I it thinks I can't see it. That's exactly what it is, a little chipmunk. Hey there, fella. Oh, there it goes. I bet it's living in there. I bet you anything. I'd like to get this beautiful. That thing is just rotted too. You down in there? Oh, ooh. Wow, that just sunk into the ground there. I'll have to settle with just breaking it off here. Yeah. Well, there's a hole in the ground right there. I hope that ain't those uh, bees. Maybe it's from last year. There'll be bees coming out of it right now. Man, that could be for the uh, uh, chipmunk too. Hole right there for sure. Do y'all see that? There's a hole that goes down on down in there. I bet you he's got him holes all over the place to escape. 
Okay. I got this. I got them planted two two beside each other because uh, they should. Uh, Joe said they'll that'll stop them, like they'll support each other that way because they get so tall, and uh, just one by itself could be knocked over by high winds. But here they are, right here. There's two of them, and then here's the other two right here. I put some dirt down through here to help all these other seeds that I've planted, and I put a few more seeds out. But if y'all remember that watch last year, Joy and y'all, Diane, this is what the stump flower looked like when it first started, if y'all remember. See, here's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Y'all remember what that thing looked like? How big it gets, there's one. Right there. There's one right there. Let me pull up some of this grass. Other stuff's trying to grow here. And uh, here's another one. And there's some up here too. There's one, two, three, one down in there. Four. Four right there. There's another one. Where'd it go? Right there. There's one over here. And there's some on down up through there. So they're basically almost all the way around this thing, y'all. I just hope they grow anything like the one last year. That'd be really beautiful around that rock with all those flowers. I meant to spray paint that pole right there today. I haven't got around to it. Uh, I'm going to sit down for a minute. Um, that chipmunk was sitting on that stump down there, and I got about within probably, I don't know, six foot of it maybe before it took off. And it has. There's a hole in the ground close to that stump. You reckon that's from that chipmunk or is it some of them bees? I hope You'd see bees. bees coming in and out of it if you stomped on it or something. I guess it's that little. I bet you it's a chipmunk's got, it's probably living underneath that stump. Yeah. It's a good way for it to kill if it runs out when you're mowing. Oh, it wouldn't run out. It'd be too scared to run out when you're mowing. The, the loud noise would be enough. Oh yeah. Well, here's the rest of the sunflowers right here. I transplanted them into this. There's five more. And I also took some out there to stump flower number two and planted them out there. I took, uh, I think, three out there. So that ought to be nice if they grow, and that'll give the birds some other food source. You know, because they love sunflowers, that's for sure. All of them love sunflowers. It's funny to watch some of them how they open it. Mm -hmm. Like the blue jay joy. Yeah, that's nice. The blue jay will go down there. It'll fly long enough and like kind of hover kind of and like or maybe land on it long enough just to get one. Then it goes to the top of the shepherd's hooks or whatever yeah. they call And goes up there and sits there and then it holds it with its feet or one foot while it's holding with the other foot onto the thing. And then it takes its sharp beak and, and hits it. And then gets a little seed out of it. And I sat there and watched him do it. I was like, what? Now, the, the craziest thing is the uh, woodpecker. It grabs a hold of it, but it upside down. It's upside down underneath the feeder and reaches up there with its head and beak and gets some while it's hanging upside down. That's crazy. I mean, that one squirrel got up there. That was hilarious. Oh, my God, no. It was stretching out and had its legs around the pole and getting something out of the feeders. And then it lost its footing and was hanging onto the feeder while it was spinning around. <laughs> and it hung on, and then finally it fell off and onto the ground. It didn't hurt it, actually. It was fine. Oh, God. It was fine, but it's so funny. Oh, Oh, I figured sooner or later they'd get up that pole. 
I don't know. I, they it, they might be too heavy to be hanging on those feet. Is the only thing I'm afraid of. They might break the little cord. I see a lot of birds flying over there. I bet there's a bunch of them right now. Out there. Hmm. Let's see if I can see them. Yeah. There's a dove and some starling. Two starlings. There was a couple cardinals over there somewhere. Oh. Okay, I'm going to talk about my giveaway because tomorrow is the day I will be picking the winners. And I say winners, it's because I'm going to have two winners. That's good, isn't it, Joy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so your, your chances are double what they usually are to win. Hmm. So it's called the Hashtag Garden Giveaway. All well, one word. Um, the rules, you must be subscribed. Press the like button. In the comments, put Hashtag Garden Giveaway. It's only available in the U.S. YouTube is not involved. The winners will receive a package of various vegetables and flower seeds, including stump flower seeds. I meant to show show that. I'm gonna have to go get it. Winners, uh, they'll be picked Friday. Yeah, but I'm just gonna show them again. But oh no, I mean what was in the package? I, I did show it though. I stayed to enter. We'll ch I'll check the comments one more time tomorrow before lunch uh, to see if there's any late entries. And, uh, yeah, I did show. If you want to see what's in the prize package, is, is, I, didn't I say in the title? I think so. Did I show what's in it? I think you did. I think the title actually shows the prizes on uh, the, the thumbnail shows the prizes on this stool oh, right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah if you look in my, in my thumbnails of the uh, past uh, videos from the past, like, what, five days maybe, Joy? Four or yeah. five days? Uh, you'll see one that has all the prizes on it in the uh, thumbnail. So definitely enter, enter. If you can't use it, you can give it to somebody that needs some seeds. They all sold out real fast this year. The vegetable seeds were gone right away, oh, pretty yeah. much, except for just oddball stuff. The flowers lasted a little bit longer, but not that long. Okay. Now, and I didn't bring my glasses either. Hmm, I, I don't think I can read this. I'm gonna have to go in and get my glasses, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I went ahead, I had this uh, sitting right there beside where my glasses were. So here's what the package, one of the packages looks like, bubble mailer. And uh, one of the most important things in it is the stump flower seeds, I feel like. Um, this will make a bunch of flowers right here, a lot. It says stump flowers on it, but you probably can't see that. But look at that. I mean, that looks like potpourri almost. And uh, but that is a lot of seeds. I mean, you can, I don't know how good you can see with this. If you can see that, you see all those little seeds down in there. And there's whole buds in there that you can just, you know, it's full of seeds. And I made sure I put some of those seeds of that other one. I forget the name of it I grew last year that was so nice. I don't remember now what it was. What it was called. Hold that for me, honey. Here's the seeds, that, uh, the flower seeds that'll be in there besides the stump flower seeds. And this probably makes... A, I mean, that's a lot. There's not many seeds in like these little ones. I mean, the packages. This would make probably, what you say, 10 packs of seeds, I'll bet. At least. I'll bet you anything. So, uh, there's not as many packets of flower seeds as there is packets of uh, vegetable seeds. But I got petunias. I need to take a picture of one. Zinnia. Now, that, I don't think that was a zinnia I grew last year, was it, Joy? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't remember having this one. Zinnia. Sweet William. I never grew any of those before. 
and alyssum. I got some of these planted, but I don't know where. I can't remember where. It looks nice. Then on the vegetable seeds, you got some cabbage, uh, early golden acre. You got white Lisbon bunching onions. That's nice. I bet those will make some good garden onions. Now these radishes I have planted uh, three times last year and had great results. Now you remember, Joy? Yeah. Yeah, they did really, really good. And I, I don't have any planted yet, but I'm sure I probably will before the season's over. They grow very fast, let's see, to maturity in uh, 20, 23 to 30 days. That's quick. And you can plant more. I mean, I did. I planted them at least three times last year. Okay. Go ahead. I'll talk about this. Uh, I got Grand Bell Mix Peppers. I like those. Some uh, zucchini squash. Now, I planted my whole garden last year was, for, was almost, except for the plants we bought, my, anything I planted last year was all from Dollar Tree. And if y'all saw my garden last year, you'll know that they did really good. Some kale. This is the seeds I grew, Kentucky Wonder. This is where I grew my beans from. They did so good last year. And some beets. So, it's a pretty good prize package, y'all. So, let's do it up. And we'll draw a winner tomorrow. I think that's going to be about it for now. I've got to decide. We'll go in here and figure out if I'm going to have... <clears throat> take that chicken and grill it out tonight. Or if I'm going to bread it with panko bread crumbs. And make just chicken tenders. You know, baked chicken tenders. Either way, it would be good. But I think we're just about out of uh, charcoal fluid. The lighter fluid. I think I just got enough for one time, and we would rather burn. Well, we would rather grill out some burgers the next day or so. So, one way or another, we're having those chicken tenders that were $1.99 a pound at Aldi, and they look really good. I've never heard of that brand though before. I don't know why. Maybe they've had to change companies or something for their chicken because they were getting that Pilgrim's Pride, I think, is what it was, and it was always good, but. The way things are now, you never know. But this chicken looks great. I'll, I'll uh, let y'all know. So I'm going to go ahead and go for now. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great evening. And I'll see you in the, in the morning at Morning Devotions. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.